If there is a reduction in the size of a water pipe, does the pressure increase, decrease, or stay the same? In this video, we will be going over how to find the velocity and pressure in a water pipe that has a reduction in size. We are given the pressure at point 1 of 1000 kilopascals, velocity at point 1 of 2 meters per second, diameter of point 1 of 1 meter, and diameter at point 2 of 0.25 meters. We will be using the Bernoulli equation. The Bernoulli equation is used to find out how much energy is in the pipe. There are three portions of the equation, the pressure energy, the potential energy, and the kinetic energy portion. Being that there is no average height difference between point 1 and point 2, we will eliminate the potential energy portion of the equation. The energy is conserved, so both point 1 and point 2 in theory have the same energy. This means that we can take the pressure energy and kinetic energy portion of the Bernoulli equation for both point 1 and point 2 and set them equal to one another. Now, in order to get the equation down to one unsolved variable, we must find the velocity. In order to do so, we must know that the volume of water per second at point 1 must equal the volume per second at point 2. So if we reduce the size of the pipe, the velocity must increase to accommodate the same volume of water. Setting the two points volumes equal to one another and rearranging the formula, we get that the velocity at point 2 is 32 meters per second. Note, I use diameter squared by itself because the pi over 4 attached to it to find area would be cancelled out. Now that we have the velocity at point 2, we can begin solving the Bernoulli equation. It is important to make sure that you are in the correct units when completing these problems. For example, 1000 kilopascals should be converted into pascals or newtons per meter squared. Density should be in kilograms per meter cubed, and velocity should be in meters per second. After we plug in all of our numbers and rearrange the formula, we get that the pressure at point 2 is 490 kilopascals or 490,000 newtons per meter squared. This means that if the diameter decreases, the pressure also decreases. As a footnote to this problem, when I was working this out, I had issues figuring out why the units in the kinetic energy portion end up being in pascals. So I placed a slide that goes over how the units end up in pascals. Hope this video helped. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I earned a like, share, or subscription.